Beat it at level 48. Not bad. It's okay. I'm pretty sure they can fit a suit in your size. You don't have to get that upset about it. I mean, you did once. It's another cell moment. What a way. I'm finally free. Jesus, what's this grab in my head? Ugh, that would been great. I swear to God, if Trunk says we one more time, I'm gonna deck him. That's a smile not even a mother could love. That, and especially my guy. <laughs> Not even a mother could love a smile like that. Let's enjoy this nice no-talking moment to signify that we beat the game. Thank you for all your hard work. Seriously, I can't thank you enough. I'm going to stop these bad guys. What I'm? I need to keep patrolling as long as possible. I'm gonna fucking maybe kill you, Trunks. Care of. But if you'd like, maybe you could help us from time to time. You mean run this thing? Maybe. Because I'm the only one doing anything. As far as partners go, I'll tell you, you're the only partner for me. Yeah, um, if I get a, if I get a choice in saying in this, I say hey fuck there. you, Goku's my Are partner. You interested in a little fight with me? I want to see your power. Show it to me. That sounds like fun. Don't do it here. If you break the time vault, everything we've just gone through will be for nothing. We don't want that. Oh, right. Whoopsie daisy. <laughs> 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 uh, fuck you, Trunks. I'm gonna fucking kill you. You got your eyes out, you motherfucking piece of shit, so called partner. I don't give a shit about you. Fucking die if all I care. You didn't do jack shit this whole day. Like, ah, it's Dragon Ball Xenoverse, and everybody. Jesus Christ. It took me for fucking. Ever to beat this game way longer than I thought it would but that's what happens when you live a life outside of YouTube essentially you're gonna get distracted a lot and that's what ended up happening to me and yeah and then Halloween came so we want to do some Halloween stuff but yeah that was that was Dragon Ball Xenoverse all we have left is the GT saga which I will do in another recording session because I do need to grind for that one I had to be at least level I was like 65, I want to say, when I did the GT stuff, and even that was a big challenge. So I do have to do a lot of grinding before I even think about doing the GT stuff. So that'll be another recording session. Consider it like a little bit extra. But no, that that's basically what Dragon Ball Xenoverse is. I consider it a great game. Um, I I don't know. The whole entire leveling system is awesome, but sometimes feel like you and, and it, it basically makes you have to do the parallel side quest that they design, which is also very fun to do. But at a time, it feels like 
you know, if you can, if once you find out must, mastering the monkey system, you can just abuse that to grind instead of having to grind the side quest system. So, you know, the RPG elements in it, while okay, not as effective as if I like to have it, have liked it to be. But, you know, that's just a small little thing there. Nothing really too big. But no, this is easily, quite frankly, one of the best DBZ games I've played. Um... However, that goes as far as like customization and all that other stuff. I will probably still play Tenkaichi 2 miles over playing this. I still consider Tenkaichi 2 to be the greatest DBZ game they've created. Some people might argue Tenkaichi 3, but my favorite was 2. I thought that was the pinnacle best of what they could do. Nothing against 3. I thought they did a lot of great things too. I just didn't pour as many hours into 3 as I did on Tenkaichi 2. You know, me and my friends, every single day throughout high school, right after school, every single day would just grind fighting each other in Tenkaichi 2. Finding new strategies, finding, you know, new bugs and loopholes you can do in the game. I mean, it was crazy the amount of stuff you could find to do within that gr within that game. And so far, I haven't found the same kind of joy with this one i can go days without playing this and really not even care whereas back in the day tenkaichi 2 i mean it felt wrong if a day went by without playing tenkaichi 2 i mean it's as simple as that i know it's a little bit you know crazy to think about but that's just kind of how it was really but at the same time it is worth getting especially you know i'm glad i got the season pass with it too because then i get all the extras you know which is okay as far as character goes you get the resurrection f characters battle of god characters da 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 da, da. the real good thing out of it was getting the gt storyline finding a way to to bring them into the universe but also giving me the use of super 17 which i haven't even used yet i'm out to try them out but the combat feels very bland at points. You guys could tell I was doing the juggling thing because, the, you know, and that's kind of why I put Tenkaichi 2 or just the Tenkaichi series in general over this because you could find all different kinds of combinations to do in different varieties. Whereas this one, it's usually about the same thing. You know, they have some ways of breaking combos, but really all the combos essentially mesh up exactly the same. Now, I haven't played all the other characters. I haven't played as Goku. I haven't played as Super 17. I haven't played as any of those guys yet. And after going back and restarting this game from the beginning and playing as Goku, I realized he had a different set combo with the basic attack. So, I don't know. Maybe if I did go out of my way and played with multiple characters, it would bring the fun back into it like Tenkaichi 2 had but I'm not exactly sure as far as with your own created person goes the, every single combo so far I haven't tried the Boo or the Namekians yet but so far the humans the Saiyans and the Frieza's all have the same style of basic attacks and it does get very bland I love the ability of going out of your way and customizing with whatever moves you want okay especially the whole entire for some of the moves you have to train under a quote-unquote master in order to learn the moves that is also really cool however it only works so far until you can get a new combat system in a lot like what Tenkaichi 2 uh Tenkaichi 2 had you know, by adding in that amazing hand-to-hand -hand combat system that it did, it made using the super moves that much better, in my opinion. But, um, at the end of the day, this is definitely one of the best game DBZ games I have played, you know, hands down. And it is definitely worth getting the grab. And the only negative, again, is just the grinding that you have to do. In other Tenkaichi games, there was no level cap system. It was just essentially, you know, the difficulty got harder every single with every single level you went into, and you just had to go with it. This one, like with other RPGs, is, you know, if you're, like, five levels under what you should be, you're going to get destroyed. If you're within that five level gap, it's going to be pretty hard, but you know, you might be able to do it. And if you're over the five level gap, then you're just going to crush your opponent without breaking a sweat. And stuff like that can really kill such an experience, you know. So many times, you know, when going against Wiss and Beerus, you know, I had to go on my way and grind an extra five to eight levels, and then finally it was beatable. It's still more the fact that, you know, the AI of Trunks couldn't do jack shit to distract them to make it a one on one fight, but that's how it. 
you know, how it was. And I'm still very confused on how the Sensubi works. It says it'll revive you from a KO, but it didn't do that in the least bit. Is that only for parallel side quests used? Can you use it in ranked matches against other people? If, show if so, that's bullshit, because then a lot of people will have greater advantages. I'm not even sure if you can use items in a ranked match against other people, but it just made no sense that I had it, and it says it would revive me from a KO, and it didn't, making me essentially lose something from it, so I don't know. That's just more of my own little ranting going on there. But, dead serious, guys, like, if you are into DBZ, or if you're just into fighting games, this is one that's definitely worthwhile of going out of your way to get. I would recommend the Steam version because of the quicker load times. My buddy, Code Black, he obviously has, um, I think it's the 360 version is what he got, or the PS4 version. I think it was the 360 version he got. And it's got slower load times, and, you know, it just seems like more people are playing this on Steam at the moment. I'm not exactly sure, but... That's Dragon Ball Xenoverse, everybody. Like, all that's left is the GT stuff, which I will go out of my way to do in my next recording session. And that's really it. It seems they defeated Demigras, Lord Beerus. I did. No. Well, well, Goku helped. Guess they didn't need me at all. Indeed. It certainly wasn't worth staying awake for. <laughs> On the contrary, I'm curious about their power. I was actually looking forward to seeing a full display of their skills. And fight me. Very much so. Well, in that case, you should be sure not to oversleep next time. <laughs> Thank you so much, Goku. I should think. Why didn't we get the one-on-one -on -one fight with Goku? I haven't excited about something in a while. <laughs> okay, come visit me again. Sure. <laughs> It seems as though they've destroyed you, my creation. Not enough power. I need more. I need more energy. That's right. We'll leave this place and collect more power. And there we can regroup and try again. But we mustn't give up. We'll be back to exact our revenge upon our transgressors. And I know that next time you will annihilate all of them. Because you are truly my greatest masterpiece, Mira. Just wait. Soon we'll return to crush those who stood in our way. Yeah, you, you can have fun with that. So, the GT stuff does bring um, what's her face back, quote unquote, just like in the story part of it, essentially discussing how her power, that's she's now affecting it. the GT universe and whatnot, Let's but that's about spar. it. I like how his mouth just kept moving though he was done talking. I could beat all of them at once. But it won't let me. That's about how it would go. I don't know why my guy would be that this excited. Is overdoing it. Okay, then you fight him. You're weak well, enough. For the time being. <clears throat> we have to work together. No. I refuse to work with someone as weak as you. I refuse it. It'll never happen. Just fuck you, Trunks. Ugh, what an annoyance. So yeah, all that's left, we got GT first half and sec second half, which, again, pretty... It's essentially you have to do everything, and then second half, you have to go against Shenron, and then you have to go against everybody so yeah we'll save that for the next time i come back for some recording but once again everybody that's dragon ball xenoverse i really hope you enjoyed this as much as i have take care <laughs>